Okay, hey guys, it's um, November 20th today. This is a little bit of a follow-up on my yesterday's video that I actually am showing today. Um, I'm just going to keep continuing on part of the theme and um, again just showing some anagrams and stuff and some interesting things that I have found. I think, you know, yesterday or today the video said I wasn't really sure about 19, but I kind of looked a little bit more into it. And I definitely do think it has to do with like AI and our DNA and stuff like that. So um, I'm going to just pursue that just a little bit. I'll try to keep it short. It's difficult for me. So, um, you know, we are also, I know, I think that we're at a frequency war vibrations and frequencies and it's a big huge war going on between what is real like real and what is their simulated fake plastic toxic stuff um, that they're trying to get people to buy more and more into and um, the frequencies too regarding like you know just I'm just seeing with our phones we're all so caught up in our phones, it's difficult not to be because it's information. You know, we're getting information, but we're also being really harmed by the frequencies coming from our phones. So it's a real difficult balance between the two. So um, anyhow, their, their frequencies, they're playing God, and I think they're trying to destroy, literally destroy this planet and all the living things on it. From some of my um, anagrams that I'm seeing, basically, they want us to be like metal. You know, I mean, they're spewing metal oxides from the air. They're um, the Metallica, you know, the music that they have. I don't know if that's the correct word, but it's all like acid, rock, Metallica. Those frequencies are very hard. They're not, they're not natural. They're not healing frequencies. But a lot of people are caught up into that hard acid rock type of icky vibration. So I'm just trying to show a little bit of real life, real nature, um, real tools that people can use to heal. Um, so again, I'm going to head inside and um, just kind of show a little bit of things that I've been seeing. And some just, again, these are just my interpretations. Okay, heading inside. Oh yeah, and I also wanted to show you um, the fig because it's such a biblical fruit, but I want to go show you one little screenshot of that. On the way to the fig tree, we're going to say hello to the persimmon tree. So, hello. So here's my little fig. Um, I'm going to have to actually transplant it today because it's getting root bound. So anyhow, it's like a car commercial. I had to spray it off before I showed you the pictures but um the fruit this is nature guys frequencies healing frequencies but okay i'm gonna go inside okay so i'm inside now and now on the 19th or on yeah yesterday on the 19th of november i mentioned 19 as in you know how they keep saying COVID 19 and all that um they constantly are showing 19 and so I looked a little bit deeper into that and 19 equals DNA So I thought that was pretty significant and over here when you add 9 plus 1 That's 10 and 10 is also AI Which will take us down below here. I'll try to back up a little bit um, See so here's the gematria of DNA and I'm going to skirt over here real quick for something else that I've kind of noticed. Do you see the, when I add up the specific gematria, the Jewish or Hebrew um, gematria, the English gematria here, and the simple gematria here. So the numbers would be nine, six, one, because this is how they play. They play with their numbers like this. So just a real quick peek into the um, numerology of 961. There's your digital currency, publicist abusers. 
<laughs> which sometimes I kind of think that the people who wrote the Bible, the scribes or whatever, the people who, not the scribes necessarily, but the people who went in, like Paul maybe, um, who went in and kind of rewrote the Bible, but that's up for some debate, I guess, and Cobra Venom, which is the Cobra Venom sounds crazy, but if you look at the unauthorized storage of toxic agents at the Church Committee Hearings, Volume 1, U.S. Senate Subcommittees on Intelligence, whatever this is, um, you can find this at the archive.org. I'll leave the link. I usually do leave the link about this one. This document, if you look in inside, you search inside. If you search inside to the Cobra Venom, you will see that it shows you all the mentions of the cobra venom that these people have that they are using. So anyhow, just a, night, just a suggestion to kind of go look at what these people are doing. See all these blue little marks? That's where they mention cobra venom. So anyhow, that's just a kind of a quick little sum up of um, the number 19 and why I feel like, you know, people will just say, oh, it's just because all this started at 2019. No, I don't think so. I think it's a lot deeper than that. I think they're manipulating our DNA with the AI. That's what I think. And the AI requires the communication systems, the radio frequencies and the electromagnetic waves in order to um, control us. And moving down to the simple gematria, AI equals um, one and nine, and that's 10. And then there's your eight. So when you add up together, I'm reducing just down to the number. So 10, and 60 and 10 so that's your that would be one six and one which could also be looked at as a nine one one if you want to flip that around and there's your one six and one that's eight total but again there's your nine one one if you what's up is down what's down is up remember black is white and sorry i'm not describing this well at all i hope you comprehend what i'm trying to say but there's your nine one one but the 1, 6, and 1 added up also equals 8, which is also the Ouroboros. And that's that. That's like the affinity. Affinity and beyond. Remember that? The serpent eating the tail. But why the serpent? I mean, why do they use that? So kind of nefarious. So this is kind of strange too. And I saw this and I didn't really comprehend what the... This is the chemical structure for benzene. So quickly it says, benzene is a material that is formed naturally by volcanoes and forest fires and is found in many plants and animals as well. It is also a significant industrial chemical that is manufactured from coal and oil. So it's created um, and used and created various chemicals, polymers, those are plastics, detergents, and insecticides. Additionally, it is a part of gasoline. And what's just so funny or interesting to me is that, you know, benzene is natural and kind of harmless, but then people turn it around and um, when they start manipulating and playing with these things, they can make very unhealthy things. So basically to me, they're messing with the frequencies again. And here's supposedly their history of it, but it's so funny, commonly known as Benjamin, and it says it was first discovered by an English scientist, Michael Faraday. Remember the Faraday cage? So this is Michael Faraday in illuminating gas. So there's your Illuminati kind of reference. It says, however, the title benzene was given by German chemist Mitch Scherich, I don't know how to say it, in 1833. German researcher August Kekul, Kekul solved the puzzle of the cyclic structure of benzene in 1865 after having a dream about a snake biting its own tail. So there's their story they're wrapping around for you. 
So it's actually C6H6. And for some reason, when I think of that, CH, I think of the CNH, pure cane sugar from Hawaii, remember, grown in the sun. I wanted to look at the gematria, the numerical value um, or equivalency to this. So I wrote out six C's. Gosh, why won't that focus? six C's and six H's, and here are the numbers from it. 66, 396 is English gematria, and simple gematria is 66. So I just feel like that's kind of interesting. There's the breakdown. So you have a lot of threes, a lot of eights. And just looking at that, it, it to me, if you had to make a sound with it, it would be like shh. And what do we know about that, right? It's kind of like that, like the Illuminati. It's just like that visual, all their one-eyed secret um, little occult clubs. And looking at that numerology further, here's just some um, words that are numerically equivalent to it. So king, dodge, and dodge is like e-god, like electro electronic or electrical, like we're being electrified lately, echo, and then ape. Here's also corona, blessed, and ruby. And when I look at ruby, you know what it made me think of is the ruby slippers. And look at those sequins. They're like snake-like in their skin. And those aren't ruby. These are just sequins. There's nothing ruby about it except for the color. I guess there's some rubies right there. I'll leave this link for you, but in the Smithsonian, they show the ruby slippers. So the wearer was Judy Garland. You know who else uses a garland in their logo? So it's interesting. They have UN blue, black, and white, and that would actually together make gray. So there's your like, like 50 shades of gray, but their font is Robo Roboto, like robot. And to learn more about the UN brand, go to iseekun.org branding. The designer is Adrian, so that's their darn AI. So there's your, for the darn AI, the mend, so to darn, is to mend a hole in knitted material by interweaving yarn with a needle. So there's your needle pulling thread, your sew. And remember who yelled Adrian? Remember Rocky? He goes, yo, Adrian. So <laughs> Rocky is Sylvester Stallone, like stallion. Let's see what's going on here. Anyhow, there's your cross, of course. You got to have the cross. So it um, disarms people because they think that you're a good Christian or something. So we got the old Rocky here with little white hat in the background. What's going on there? You got the eagle. You got the camera because he's American and American is in camera. It's an anagram. And we got the Adrian Balboa here. I'm getting sidetracked. Sorry. Just really quick. Some anagrams for her name. Arab AI Lab Nod or Don. Hmm. I'm wonder what they're going to be cooking up. So this is all, these little slippers are all in the, um, the ruby slippers are all in the Smithsonian. So here's your description, 16. There's your, your 19 turned upside down. So 16 year old Judy Garland wore the sequined shoes as Dorothy Gale in 1939. There's your 93 for your Thelema. You've got your 19, your 66, and your 39. Um, musical film, The Wizard of Oz. We've seen that quite a bit in the original book by Frank Baum. Baum. L. Frank Baum, like B-A-U-M. But you can look at that differently. Dorothy's magic slippers are silver, like the silver chair society that Bill Gates is part of. For the Technicolor movie, customers created ruby red shoes to show up more vividly against the yellow brick road. Brick, as in Freemasons, and you got the brick going on now, the B-R-I-C-S, bricks. 
between Britain, Russia, I think India, China, and um, I think Africa is joined in now, but whatever. So one of several pairs used during the filming, these five, um, size five, I like they're five. Okay. And um, the way I got to the 396 here, which shows that sh thing from the um, benzene, there's your 66, and the 66 is Corona, and that's 396 also. And 396 is also the secret, among other things. And you got King Solomon there. Then we get to the Moloch too. So with the 161 and all the that number stuff. So this whole thing and it just, um, you know, this something about the oil and the CH, the benzene here with the Tin Man. And I think with the Tin Man and the robotics and the AI and all that stuff, I'm just going to leave this here and let you all look through it because there's a lot to um, uncover. But AI is also CDC. And we've seen them involved with a lot of stuff lately, haven't we? And then again, when I'm looking at the, sorry, I'm going to use my cursor, the one and the six and the one here, one, six, one is also Moloch, Moloch. And there's your three, nine, six. And the Moloch is a Canaanite God associated with the sacrifice of children the Canaanites lived in the region that comprises modern-day Israel, Palestine, and some of the surrounding territory called Levant. So um, we're seeing a lot of children sacrifices right now in the Middle East, aren't we? Anyway, I'm going to just leave this here um, and call it a night. Okay, guys, take care.